Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this rope cable, which you can see here in front of you. Cable stitches are a lot of fun to work. This one looks as though it is a twisted piece of rope. They can be frustrating at times, but once you get the hang of working your cables, you're going to absolutely love them. They create a great pop of texture on your fabric and they can be used in a variety of projects. Today for our cable I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, worsted weight cotton yarn. It's a 100% cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as I'm going to switch this here a six miller a five millimeter crochet hook. That's the H8 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of free crochet patterns here on my channel. And I update this channel every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Now our cable stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. Now for this cable stitch, for the actual rope cable, so this portion right here, you need a total of seven stitches to complete the cable. Then when I'm working cable stitches, I just decide how many stitches I would like in between each cable and then add, uh, in this case, it would be one for the foundation chain. So for this stitch pattern, I have three cables with seven stitches, and then I've added three stitches uh, on each side of the cable stitch. So we're looking at 33 crochet stitches for our foundation chain, and then we're going to add one for our turning chain for a total of 34 uh, chain stitches. So that's kind of how you figure out the multiples for your cable stitches. Today I'm going to chain 34. And 34. Once you have your desired length of foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you'll have a total of 33 stitches. Chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're simply going to half double crochet into our first stitch. The chain one at the start of your row does not count as a stitch. You're then going to simply half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to start working some of our cable stitches. To begin, we're going to work a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. Next, you're going to skip the next four stitches and into the next stitch but working two rows below you're going to work a front post double treble stitch. So I'll repeat that you're going to skip the next four stitches 
and in around the post of the next stitch but working two rows below so around the post of the next half double crochet directly below it in row one you're going to work a front post double treble so to work your front post double treble yarn over three times insert your hook around the post of that stitch from the front through to the back out through the front again yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and pull through two loops four times that's your front post double treble stitch you're going to do that two more times over the next stitch and then the next stitch two rows below so yarn over three times around the post of the next stitch of row one insert your hook from front through to back out through the front again yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops four times so that was our third front post double treble do that one more time inserting your hook around the post of the next stitch in row one from front to back to front yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two loops four times next on your previous row you're going to skip the first three skip stitches and work a half double crochet into your next stitch so we're kind of pretending that we worked into these three stitches and working our half double crochet into the next stitch we're then going to work three front post treble stitches this time working over each of the first three skip stitches but two rows below so once again in our row one so if we count back down in row one we have one two three four so this fourth stitch here is our first skipped stitch where we're going to work our next front post double treble so yarn over three times bring your hook in front of your work and reach all the way back insert your hook from the back through or from the front through to the back out through the front again and these stitches are going to look a little bit twist but twisted but don't worry we're going to straighten them out again complete your front post double treble and you're going to do the same in the next two skipped stitches and actually I'm going to go back there because I worked it in the third one and not the fourth so we want to go into that first skipped stitch that one right there so that was the first one now our second skip stitch two rows below work a front post double treble and one more into the third skip stitch front post double treble so you should now have three front post double treble stitches that are crossed over in front of the first three that you worked then up on your first row you're going to skip those next three stitches and into each of the next three stitches work one half double crochet stitch just like so you're going to repeat that all the way across so once again skip the next four stitches and into the next stitch but two rows below into your row one work a front post double treble and you're going to repeat that for a total of three times so there's one front post double treble around the post of the next stitch of row one 
and one more time the next stitch in row one. Up top, you've worked in front of the first three skip stitches. We're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch. Next, work one front post double treble in each of the first three skip stitches. So the first three of the four. So there's one, two, three. This is the first one we're working in of that row one, bringing our hook all the way back, inserting it around the post of that stitch. Front post double treble around the post of the next skip stitch, two rows below. And one more around the post of the next stitch, two rows below. Up top, we've worked three stitches, one in front of each of the next three skip stitches. So we're going to skip those and work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat this all the way across your fabric. At the end of row three, I now have three cable stitches started. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Row four is quite simple. Once again, you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. Every single even row, so two, four, six, eight, and so forth, uh, each of those rows is going to be a half double crochet stitch row just to get you back to the beginning uh, and then your cable stitches will all be on the same side. So half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working some of our front post stitches to continue our cables. So for row five, we're going to start by working a half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. Next, you're going to work a front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch two rows below. So when we're working our cable stitches from here on end, we are now wor always working around the posts of our front post stitches two rows below. So bring your hook down, insert your hook from front through to back, out through the front of the next front post stitch, and complete your stitch. You're going to do that three times. One front post double treble over each of the next three stitches, two rows below. So there's two and three. Next, up top, you've worked in front of each of these next three stitches, so you're simply going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to work, once again, one front post double treble stitch around the posts of each of the next three front post stitches, two rows below. Up top in your previous row, you've worked in front of the next three stitches, so simply work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. One front post double treble around the posts of each of the next 
three front post stitches, two rows below. Next, work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And work a front post double treble stitch around the post of each of the next three front post stitches, two rows below. Up top, you've worked in front of each of those next three stitches. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row five, you can chain one and turn your work and as far as the repeats for this pattern are concerned that is it for the rest of the cable pattern you're going to repeat your row 2 which was your half double crochet stitch row all the way through to row 5 for as long as you would like uh, it's up to you as far as where you would like to end your cable I like to end my cable on a row three so that it kind of matches up with this twisted par portion down here at the bottom, but it's really up to you. So you're going to go ahead, repeat rows two and five for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this rope cable stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, again, don't forget to subscribe. And if you happen to make some rope cables, feel free to share them with me on social media. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet, and uh, I'll come by and admire it. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.